Hello and welcome to today's video. We're going to talk about some proof by contraposition. So this is a little different than the direct proof we talked about before. If you remember what contrapositives are, that's the whole idea that to prove P implies Q, I can actually say I can prove not Q implies not P. Those are logically equivalent statements. We talked about that in the logic section of the course. So the only difference now is we're going to start, we're going to assume not Q and then try to show that that means not P is true. So it's just a little bit different starting point. So instead of starting with just assuming P is true, we assume the opposite of Q is true, but then the steps are the same. We just want to do whatever we can to reach that conclusion of, in this case, not P, where it used to be Q. So now let's do some examples. And the examples are going to get a little harder here, so I definitely recommend you uh, take your time, practice these on your own. The first one's not bad, but after that they get tough. So um, let X be an element of Z. So that means it's an integer. If x squared minus 6x plus 5 is even, then x is odd. So I'm going to assume not q. So that means I'm going to assume x is even, right? Because q says x is odd, I need to assume the opposite of that. I'm assuming x is even. All even numbers can be written as x equals 2k, where k is an integer. So k is an element of disease. Okay. So now that I have that, I want to somehow prove that this thing is odd because I want to show not p. So not p means that x squared minus 6x plus 5 is odd. So that's what I want to get to. So I'm just going to write, rewrite this x squared minus 6x plus 5. I want to somehow show that it's odd. Well, I'm going to plug in my uh, 2k here. So minus 6 times 2k plus 5. What can that simplify to? Well, I'll be left with 4k squared minus um, 12k plus five okay and remember what's our goal we want to somehow show that this is odd so i want to show that this is two um i won't use k i'll use two l plus one where l is some integer so where l is an element of z's that's what we somehow need to prove i want to somehow show that this is equivalent to that how can i do that i recommend you pause and really try to see this yourself how you can somehow make this look more like 2k plus one but I'll show what I do here. So I'm going to factor out a 2 from everything because I need a 2 on the outside. So 2 times, I'm going to be left with 2k squared minus 6k. Now is the trick. So I know that I want plus 1 on the end. Well, that means I need to have 4 on the inside of this, right? Because I can just take the 4 and then I'll be left with 1. So if I want to have 4, I already took out a 2, so I need plus 2, plus 1. And now this would make it okay. And now what, I, what can I do with this 2k squared minus 6k plus 2? I can let that equal. So 2k squared minus 6k plus 2 equals some constant. We'll call it L. And I know that that's going to be an integer because k is an integer. And if k is an integer, if I square it, subtract, and add another integer, it's still going to be an integer. So is, this is an element of z. Okay, so now I can say, well, x squared minus 6x plus 5. Well, that's equivalent to 2L plus 1, and therefore it's odd. So therefore, um, not, P, not Q implies not P, so P implies Q based on logical equivalence, and therefore my proof is done because I've shown that, that it's odd. So you can use the contraposition. Hopefully that makes sense. So we were able to assume not Q and show that that implies not P, and then that lets us do the entire thing and show that the entire logical statement is true. So that's the proof. Okay, so now let's look at another one. These are gonna get a little harder, mainly because they're going to have two conditions. So this proof goes both ways. We have to show that if x squared is even, then x must be even, and also that if x is even, x squared must be even. So that's what we need to start with. We have two conditionals here, because if we wrote it out using logic, we would say x squared is even, is even and then we do the double arrow so implies x is even and that means that you can do both ways so I can say x is even implies x squared is even and also x squared is even implies x is even so that's what we're gonna write here so x squared is even then x is even okay so we're gonna have two things to prove here and the second one is going to be it x is even then x squared is even. So let's start with the first one. So if x is uh, if x squared is even, then x is even. 
Well, what if I assume x is odd? So assume, so part one, assume x is odd. We're gonna do this one by contradiction. Con yeah, contraposition, not contradiction, my bad. Assume x is odd. And then we're gonna to try to show that, well, then x squared must be odd as well, because I would do the proof by contraposition. So x equals 2k plus one. Well, what can I, and k is an element of z, of course. And now I can say, well, that means x squared equals 2k plus 1 squared. 2k plus 1 squared. I'm not going to write out the foiling this time, but you get 4k squared plus 4k plus 1. And then you can simplify this by taking out a 2. You get 2 times 2k squared plus um, 2k plus 1. Then we know that this is an integer, so we're going to let this be i. And now we get x squared equals 2i plus 1, 2i plus 1, where i is an integer, so i is an element of z. So that means that x squared is odd. So x squared is odd, and that concludes this part of the question. So that's part one. So part one is true. And I guess I wouldn't put the dot here because we haven't shown part two yet, and the whole proof has to be true if we, only if we can show part two as well. So that shows that if x is even, then if x squared is even, then x is even. Because what we did, we showed is that, well, if x is odd, then x squared has to be odd. And that's proof by contraposition. So, part two. If x is even, then x squared is even. And let's do this one by direct proof. So this one we're going to do directly. This one was contraposition. All right, so direct proof. Uh, remember what we did last time, we would just assume P is true, so X is even, so assume X is even, so I'm just going to write it already in the math notation, assume X uh, equals 2K, where K is an element of Z. Okay, well, now I'm just going to try to show that uh, X squared is even, so X squared equals 2K quantity squared, which equals 4K squared. And how can I show that this is two times some integer here? Well, I could just do factor out of two and then say x squared equals two times 2k squared. And I know 2k squared, I'm gonna set this 2k squared equal to, let's make it L this time. And so x squared equals 2L. I know L is an element of Z because I just took an integer and squared it and multiplied by two, that's okay. So x squared equals 2L. And therefore, um, x squared is even, and I proved this directly. And so that's the end of the proof, because I've shown both sides, and so that means the entire proof is true. So, how hopefully that makes sense. So no, that shows that if, the, that, that if x, squared is, x squared is even, if and only if x is even. We had to show both sides, that's the important part here. And now this last one is another example where we're going to have to prove both sides. So. Let x be an element of z, 9x minus 3 is even, if and only if x is odd. So again, let's write down our two, two parts to this. Remember, this is the indication that we have two parts, this ni uh, if and only if. So my first part is, well, basically what it writes out as. So 9x minus 3 is even, then, it's basically if 9x minus 3 is even, then x is odd. That's the first part that we're proving. And secondly, you kind of write it backwards. So now, it's if x is odd, then 9x minus 3 is even. So you just have to do it both ways. So the 9x minus 3 is even. Okay, so first one, so part one, how are we going to prove that one? I recommend you pause, try to do it yourself, but I'll walk you through it either way. So if x is odd, then 9x minus 3 is even. I see this one as another one that I would want to do contraposition, right? Because it's easier if I start with the, the odd and even part. So I'm going to do this one by contraposition. And that's kind of the most important part, honestly, is being able to choose what type of proof do I want to do in this situation. So I'm going to assume that x is even, right? So assume x is even, because I want to assume not q. x is even. So x equals 2k, where k is an element of z. And now I'm just going to plug that in. So now, now 9 times 2k minus 3 equals 18k minus 3. 
How can I show that this month? I'm trying to show that this is odd. How can I show that this is odd? Well, again, I always want it to equal two times something plus one. Well, I can fa obviously need to factor out a two. I'm gonna get, be left with nine K, that part's easy. Now's when I need to be creative. I somehow need to let it be plus one on the outside. Well, what if I add two here? Yeah, add two. And then I should be able to say plus one. Well, actually it'd be plus one. Or it'd be minus two, so minus two. So 9K minus two plus one. And the reason why that works, I'll show you here. If I factor that out, that's equal to 18K minus four plus one, which equals 18K minus three. So I didn't change the value of it in any way. That's why I did minus two. That's what you have to think about here is what can I put on the inside that will make the value stay the same, but it needs to look like two times some integer plus one. So that's what you gotta be careful with. And let's call this I again. So I'm gonna let that be I, and now I'm gonna get, well, um, nine X minus three is equal to two times I plus one. Therefore, nine X minus three is um, odd, right? And that shows that that part is done because I showed not Q implies not P. That, I proved that part by contraposition. All right, so part two. How do I wanna prove this one? I wanna prove it directly and why? Well, because I'm starting with if X is odd. So that's a really easy one to assume and just work from there. So I'm assuming X equals 2K plus one. K is an element of Z, okay? And I need to show that nine X minus three will be even. Well, that's easy. So nine X minus three equals nine times 2K plus one minus three well that what can that simplify to it'll be 18k my plus nine minus three i'll write it down here that equals 18k plus six and i need to show that this is even well i need to make it, it needs to end up as 2k just 2k yeah so how can i do that well i can factor out a two so 9x minus three equals two times 9k plus three right Okay, so that's okay. Now this, I can let this be L. So 9x minus three equals two L. And do I know that L is an element of the integers? Cause that's important here. That's if we're gonna try to prove even, it has to be an element of the integers. And yes it is. Because all I did is I took an integer um, K, I multiply it by nine and added three, you're always gonna get an integer there. So 9x minus three equals two L, therefore 9x minus three is even, is even. So I showed that uh, if P, so P is true, it implies Q. So that proves part two. And then if part one and part two are both true, the entire proof is true and this statement is true. Nine X minus three is even if and only if X squared X is odd. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you kind of understand this um, dual implication thing with this if and only if, because it really doubles the work you got to do. You really got to be able to see that and recognize that. So thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions. Have a good one.